When doing a rebuild, typically you'll have to change the pistons. Um, you'll have, it's, it's easy to get the rods pressed off. I got, I got the, um, or the, the old pistons pressed off. I got the pistons pressed for like 15 bucks or something like that. It's pretty cheap. Um, but you can save yourself money by pressing the wrist pins in yourself, which takes nothing more than, um, I have matte gas here, which burns about a thousand degrees hotter than propane. So you can use propane, but that's faster. Um, you freeze your wrist pins. These have been in the freezer for about four days now. Um, you want to make sure that they're frozen solid the whole way through. And uh, that's about all you need. If you buy aftermarket rods, and pistons then obviously they'll come they won't come put together so it makes it even easier um, I cut a notch out the, out of this board here and I'm using a 16 millimeter uh, make sure that's going the right way 16 millimeter socket in order to sort of uh, that's where the wrist pin is going to end up because it takes about they bite fairly quickly it takes about two seconds or so but you want to make sure you're not going to get them through the hole like like too far. Um, so basically, all you got to do. Like I said, you'll have to work fairly quickly because it only takes about two seconds or so for these to bite. Keep the small end of the rod up. What that does is expands the circle and that, whenever you freeze that, it compresses the wrist pin itself. So you make the wrist pin smaller, you make the circle larger, and then they push right through. But obviously, whenever this rod heats that wrist pin up, they'll sort of equal te equalize their temperatures and uh, that'll bring them both back down to spec. So you have to do it kind of quick. Unfortunately, the last one was the last piston to press on and I fucked it up, but basically this is what you should end up with is a nice centered wrist pin and you know, it's more money. But the other one can be salvaged, I just have to either get it pressed out or press the whole way back in, which shouldn't cost too much because everything's pretty much already done. Uh, that's about it.